So we're looking at some algorithm questions, and what we're going to do is look at how we can decompose the problem and break it down. I'm giving you a heads up now. You need to understand for your exam what abstraction is, what decomposition is, all of the techniques that we talked about in programming. What is abstraction? Detail for the problem that makes it easier to solve. Yeah, so I would look at this and think, all right, where's the wh where's the detail that I need, etc. What's decomposition? Breaking it down into smaller sub-problems. Yeah, so I could break this down into a smaller sub-problem. Now, I want you to have a look at this algorithm here because we are going to write it in pseudo. So, it says develop an algorithm. Key point here, if in your test you see the word algorithm, it means pseudo is required. If you see the word program, it means write it in Python. There will be a mix of the two in the exam. Expect it. All right. Now, developing an algorithm, I know it says pseudo code here, but sometimes it just says develop an algorithm. Sometimes they're not nice enough to write that word in there for you. So you've just got to be ready for it. That helps an ice cream seller in a hot country calculate how many ice creams they're likely to sell on a particular day. Your algorithm should get the user to enter. If I see that, any interaction from the person, what does that mean? It means that there's a user input there. So that's going to be an input. What am I doing right now? I'm decomposing the problem. I'm breaking it down so it's more manageable for me. Now... Get the user to enter the temperature forecast in degrees Celsius. Again, there's a user input there. So there's an input there. There's an input there. Enter means input, all right? So I know that now. Good. Uh, they should enter the number between 20 and 45. What does the word inclusive mean? Say that again. It would include, all right? Think about it. Inclusive, it sounds like include, all right? If I was saying that my lessons were inclusive, it means I include you all, yeah? So, inclusive. If the number falls outside the range, then they should be made to re-enter another number until. What does the word until mean? That there's going to be, yeah? It means there's going to be some form of loop. It doesn't necessarily mean a while loop. In this case, it is. Uh, but if you see things like until or it w they will keep doing this, that sort of thing, you've just got to be aware of it, all right? Uh, calculate the number of ice creams they are likely to need following uh, to be sold using the following information. So I've got 100 ice creams are likely to be sold if the temperature is between 20 and 30, 150 if it's between 31 and 38, and then 120 if the temperature is much higher. So, let's get our two easiest marks here, because this is out of nine marks. We can get you two in the bag. It doesn't matter how good you are at coding, we've got the two. So, realistically speaking, what are my inputs going to be? Am I going to call them Bob? No, I'm not going to call them Bob. I'm going to give them a name that reflects the scenario. So, get them to tell me whether it's the weekend or weekday. Just something like this. Is... Weekend. So that's my variable name. And I'm going to allocate it. It hasn't said it asks them. It d hasn't said it displays the text. So I'm just going to save myself some time and just get capital user input. All right. So remember, this arrow means assignment. I'm assigning that value into that. All right. We're going to say we need the temperature now. So, look, I'm going to tick that off. I've done that. I'm quite happy with that. So, I'm going to go on to temperature. So, I've got my temperature. And again, I'm getting some user input. Hopefully, I've caught, hopefully, you all understand that at this point. Now, all right. What does it say in the next bullet point with that temperature, though? What does it say? It has to be in between 20 and 45. Yes. 
that means there's going to need to be a condition. And that word until we've decided that we're going to do, there's a condition there. So that's the while loop. So watch. We're going to say while the temperature, sorry, make sure that's correct. While the temperature is, it says between 20 and 45. I'm going to say less than 20, all right, or temp is greater than 45. Is there another way I could do that, that condition? Because I'm going to get them to, I'm going to get them to keep asking for the input because it's, yeah. So while the temperature, so I've done it the opposite way way around. So there is another way you could do it. What is the other way you could potentially do this? So while it's smaller than, while it's bigger than nineteen and smaller than forty-six. So while it's. Say again? While it's um, um, greater than or equal to 20 or, or less than 45 or equal to 45. Yeah, so the other, the other option you could have is actually to do um, greater than or equal to 20. and Or you could use things like not equal to. Oh, yeah. Yeah? I would have gone down that route. <laughs> while temp is not, keep asking. So I could have... Do you want me to write that out? Would it help you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I could say, while the temp is not... Uh, wait a second. Uh, not greater than or equal to... In fact, I've done that wrong. Let me write that out again, sorry. I could write while. So I'm going to do the not, which is the opposite, all right? So while not temp greater than or equal to 20 or temp less than or equal to 45. Does that make sense, what I've done there? Yeah? It's the opposite of that condition, but I've put a not there to flip it. So if you wanted to know what the right condition is, you could always put a not there in front of it. Make, am I making sense? Yeah. So that's pretty much exactly the same as that, but that's giving me the condition it needs to be, but I'm saying, well, if it's not that, I'm going to keep asking them. So I, I just want to show you there's more than, there's a saying, there's more than two ways to skin a cat, all right? So just because you were in your head thinking about a different way of doing it doesn't mean it was wrong, as long as your condition ultimately goes with what they're saying. So I'm going to have to, at this point, get them, so I'm going to say temp, I'm going to have to get them to put their user input again, and it's going to keep checking it, and then I'm going to do my end while. Yes? Do you not need to put a then at the end of a while? Uh, yes, but they won't penalize. So I'm going to put my then in, all right? Now, this is where you do your if conditions. This is what is it called? It begins with a S. It's selection. selection. Good. Now, let's have a look here. So this is going to keep asking. So I've got them asking the temperature, but then now I need to calculate the number of ice creams that are likely to be sold using the following information. A hundred ice creams are likely to be sold if it's between 20 and 30. All right? So a hundred ice creams are likely to be sold. Now, let's work on that. So, if 
the temp, I've used the capital T, all right, if the temp is less than or equal to, all right, I was wondering when uh, some, some of you would spot that I did Python operators there. I should have went with sudo I would use these yeah. alright so there's a difference between sudo with sudo while temp is less than or equal to 30 sorry if then All right, ice, ice creams is set at 100, elif, else, I'm going to run out of space here, if temp is less than or equal to 38, then, sorry, can you see that okay? less than or equal to 28, then ices is set at 150. Else, ices is set at 120. Now, it says here, okay, if it is a weekend, because we've not referred back to this yet, right, double the estimate if it is the weekend. So at the end of my program, I'm going to make a star here to make a note of what I'm going on to here. Sorry, this is messy. I've run out of space. If you need to, you can do that. Go on to back pages. All right. If is weekend, all right, is equal to yes, or you could say weekend, whatever condition, you've just got to demonstrate that you're showing that it is a weekend, all right? So if it is a weekend, if weekend it is, I'm just going to say yes, then ices is equal to ices. What are we doing? We're doubling it. So what do we do? <coughs> Times by two. But then it says output the estimated number. So all I need to do is do output oh I'm going to do end if there. I'm going to go to output ices. So I've got my condition there. I've output that. What I want to demonstrate here is how easy it is to get some of these marks. First mark that was easy to get, we've got two here, think about it, for getting user input. Other, even if the rest of it is wrong, look, I think we all know how to do an output. Would you agree? Yeah, so we can put an output there. Doubling in the estimate, even if this is wrong, but you've acknowledged somewhere how to double the estimate, there's a mark there. So just be aware that even if your conditions are slightly out, there are other ways to grab marks in an exam. So just to stay calm. Yes? I have a question about the if. Do you not have to put, like with the while, you have to put end while. Do you not have to put end if? Yeah, I should have put end if at the end of that. Yeah. Yeah, I should have done an end if there. All right? Yes? Uh, do you have to, don't you have to introduce the variable ice? No, because I've, uh, I've declared it. Yeah? yeah, only if you are adding something to it, I would do that. But I'm I'm already declaring it there by using it technically. All right, it's only if you try to uh, multiply it by something and it doesn't exist. That's me assigning it, so that works. All right. Uh, if I tried to do ices is ices times two, but I hadn't done that, it wouldn't work. So that wouldn't work unless I'd actually done the multiplication already. Sorry the assignment already, okay? So what we've got here is ices. Now the reason why this works is if the temperature is less than or equal to 30, <coughs> it's already 
above 20, think about it, because I've also got less than or equal to 38. Now, I noticed some of you questioning that. How else could I approach that? What could I have done? Say again? Yeah, some, some of you may have done it that way. Some of you may have said, if, if temp <coughs> is uh, between 20 inclusive, so if temp is greater than or equal to 20 and temp is less than and equal to 30, then... How many of you would have done it with that approach? It's fine, still works, all right? And if that's what you're comfortable with, stick with it rather than trying to relearn something now, all right? Yeah? So I'm going to pause that, then I'm going to go on to another question. Any questions on that? All right. <coughs> 